We got a letter a couple weeks ago saying that some of the wells in our area were testing high for nitrates. So actually today they're having, today and tomorrow, yep. you can go in and get your water tested for free. So that's what we're going to do. Even though we don't have any infants here or pregnant women, um, you know, it's just, I think it's a good idea. So that's one of the things. What are you doing in the back there, Joe? What am I doing? Pick up. <laughs> You're picking your nose in the background? Hmm. Well, all right. Well, you guys saw it here. Joe picking his nose in the background. Oh. So we're going to do that today, but first oh, I have to you. go. What do you uh, have? Um, I have my book. Is that a book you're reading? Yeah. Really? That's my, a big book. Yeah, it better work. Um, um, like, I um, want name, um, Joseph, I for Sam. Oh, that's Joe and Sam in that book? Yeah, Joe. Yeah, well, we'll have to read that later, huh? You want to read it later? Yeah. Okay. Right. All right. But first, before we go and pick up the water testing kit, we, not we, I, I am going to do laundry. That, that is, I guess, the weekend of laundry that has been created. So it's time to work on that. In case you are new here, I'm Jennifer, and this is A Country Life, and I share all kinds of things regarding large family, uh, Catholic life, and what else? We share lots and lots of food, I share homeschooling, and of course I share all kinds of things about uh, raising this guy over here. He's making some toast this morning. I just realized that we can't go and do the water testing quite yet because Joseph never even had breakfast. He was back listening to music all morning, weren't you? Yep. Yep, dancing and listening to music. And then all of a sudden he's like, Mom. He's like, Mom, toast. I'm like, oh, yeah, you never had breakfast. So we have to stick around here for a few more minutes for him to eat. That gave me some time to run down and do, you know, just the just kind of your run-of-the-mill things. I had to empty the dehumidifiers in the basement and um, oh, just sort laundry no. and do that kind of thing. Right? No! No? You got some sun this weekend. Oh, no! Yes, you did. I know I do. <laughs> did you race the BMX this weekend? Uh, no, I do. You didn't? No, no, I do. No? Did you race on your BMX bike? I do. What place did you get? Damn it. <laughs> what place did you get? Uh, no. Second place? No. Out of five racers? Yeah? Good Three. job. Not third place. You got second place this time. Good job. No. <laughs> and I see today's going to be one of his belligerent days. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, now I took the camera away. He's like, um, Mom, Mom, I have more things to say. Good job buttering that all by yourself. Yep. Wow, nice going. So things are just getting more and more exciting around this place today. Um, my sink drain is draining really slow. And I thought, I'm going to give something a try. And my thought was baking soda and vinegar. And I thought, you know, what if I'm not supposed to put that down the sink drain? So I went quick to my phone and I just Googled natural remedy for clearing a kitchen sink drain. And guess what the first thing that came up was baking soda and vinegar. So I'm going to give that a try. There's my kitchen sink, everybody. There it is. That's what it looks like. I know someone's going to think it looks gross, but it says to put a half a cup of baking soda directly down the drain. Yeah, I don't even know if that's going to go down. Let's see what we could do. All right, I'm going to do this with a knife. Let's see if I can get some of that to go down the drain. So then it says here that I need to follow up with half a cup of vinegar and then let it sit for 15 minutes. All right, so that was really, really fizzing. And I actually think I heard a clog kind of like get sucked away, but I'm going to let it 
just do its thing for 15 minutes like it said. Say it again for me. Way to go, Mom, for doing those dishes. Thank you. I thought for sure it was gonna be, I didn't have to drink you this morning. <laughs> no. Do I ever do that? Oh, ever. <laughs> Yeah, it gets water. Yes, you can. All right, so I'm gonna add a little bit more vinegar just because there was a lot of baking soda that didn't go down. Wow. Are you cleaning the drain? I am, because it was draining so slowly. And so I thought, we're gonna try this. This is kind of a natural remedy versus getting like Drano, which is very caustic, so. Or telling we'll Dad. We'll see. <laughs> what do you mean you're telling Dad? <laughs> Dad would be like, are you kidding me? <laughs> So what do you do? So what do you do? So Maria and I are going to just sit down and work on one of her little workbooks here. She's kind of a workbook little girl, right? <laughs> you like these. Anywhere I can pick up dollar workbooks or even get some free ones. So it looks like what you have to do is you have to say whatever this picture is and then you have to think of what the first letter is and write the first letter. So what is this a picture of? Moon. And so mm, look at the word. Mm. Moon. What letter should you write there? M. Very good. Now, did you start at the top and then go down and then hump, hump? Yes. Oh, you have to start at the dotted line and you go down and then you go hump, hump. Can you do that again? But you I don't have to erase place. it. Just write right over top of it. That's okay. Start at the dotted line and then follow it up, hump, and then follow it up, hump. Nice job. Alrighty, the timer just went off and here's the moment of truth. I don't know if I should use hot or cold water, so I'm just going to turn them both on full force. We're going to run this for a little bit and see what happens. And then the real test is going to be this. I'm going to use my sprayer because what had been happening is that when I use my sprayer, it would back up and it wouldn't take it all you know, it just like wouldn't take all the water. So let's see. If I go like this, will it get to a point where it's just taking all of it? It's close. Well, that's a whole lot better than it was. <laughs> so I would say that works. So there you go. We're just continuing with school. We're trying to wrap things up, or at least I'd like to wrap things up. It looks like the kids... How much more do you have, Amber? For the day? Not really for the day, no, for the school year. Well, I finished on the 30th. Okay, so with that's... absolutely everything you're going to be done on the 30th? Yes? Yeah. Yeah, okay, that's awesome. We're just going to head over here and look at the bleeding heart because Maria just came in and said, Mom, you have to see it. Yes. Oh, my goodness. It usually does bloom by Mother's Day, so this is a nice treat. Yesterday was Mother's Day, and here we go. Hi, Eska. Yes, we know. You want to get in the video, too. Ugh, don't lick me. That's yucky. Um, Eska, come here. Hey, she was trying to eat the bleeding hearts. So aren't they pretty? A bleeding heart is just such a pretty, pretty plant. And here in Wisconsin, it's so nice to have something that blooms already in May because those things are far and few between. In one of the videos that I've done recently, I mentioned that our weather guy said that we have not had three consecutive days in the 60s yet in 2019, but I think this week we're going to get it. I don't know if it actually hit 60 yesterday, but it is going to hit... 60 or maybe 65 or something today so that's going to be such a treat and here we got some hostas popping up that's kind of fun and i forget what this is called this is a coreopsis no this isn't my coreopsis i think this is my coreopsis over here whoop now i'm in the shade <laughs> or now the plant's in the shade so i think that's my coreopsis there and this i forget what this is unless this is the coreopsis Huh, I've forgotten. But here are the primroses coming. Those always bloom, usually right around Father's Day. So that's going to be really, really exciting. Joseph! Joe! Do you want to go with us to pick up the water testing kit? 
You want to stay here with Amber and Sam? Yeah. Okay. I want to stay here. You, want, you don't want to go with me to pick up the water testing kit? No. It seems like there's always one more thing to do. Okay, so Sam, he's switching his laundry now. Sam and Amber have been doing their own laundry for a while, haven't you guys? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Amber, just because it was time for the other kids, I did do their laundry longer, didn't I? Mm-hmm. You want to tell everybody why I'm not doing your laundry, though? Because I choose to do my own. <laughs> you do not choose. I made you do your own laundry. Yeah, Sam has a habit of keeping laundry in his room for basically a, basically a month. And I... Well, it was a long time, and I got kind of tired of him emptying it into the laundry room all at once, and then I would have literally four loads of just Sam clothes to wash. So the one day I said, that's it, you're going to do your own laundry. He's supposed to do it on Saturdays, but I don't know, this Saturday he was sitting in the hot tub. He told me he was busy, and I said, busy doing what, sitting in the hot tub? And he's like, yeah, basically. So he's doing it on Mondays. That was your lazy day? Yep, it was. So now we're just trying to get laundry done here on Monday. And I really, really am going to go and pick up the water testing kit as soon as I hit start. All right, so I just came back from where I had to pick up the water sample bottle and the instructions and everything. So Peter and I are going to fill this up. So we have to turn it on, it says for five minutes on high. So all the way cranked up? Yeah, let's uh, make sure it doesn't get all over the place though, right? Yep, just throw it out here into the grass, I think. <laughs> you know, kill the dandelions for us. They're everywhere. Good luck. What's that? This is the bottle that we're going to, whoops, that we're going to put the water sample in. So we have to run the water for five minutes. Then we have to turn it down so it's coming out slowly. And then we have to fill this bottle up. So there's still one inch on top, okay? All right, Peter, we're gonna turn that down. Bring it over here, honey. Mom? Yep, I'm gonna turn it on a little bit. We just can't touch the, the lid. Bring it over here, please. Why can't we touch the lid? Because that's what it says. One inch from the top, a little bit more. There we go, maybe. Okay. You can, we can turn this all the way off. I'm getting pretty wet. Okay, I have it on really tight. I seal it in the bag. Now what do we have to do? Well, now we're supposed to put it on ice and then get it back. Joe and I just hopped into the car to take a quick country drive to drop off the water sample. And boy, what a beautiful, glorious day that it is. And then the beautiful field of cows. And you know what they say, if you see cows laying down, it's not the day to go fishing. You want to carry the sample in? Yeah. Okay. All right, let's go. Okay, go in. Go yeah. in. Yeah, you go in. Go in. Hello. Yeah, hi there. Go drop it off. Right here. Right in front of you, bud. Great. Thank you. Yeah. When will we know or when will we have the results? Do you know? Um, I think it was saying in the letters up to a month. Oh, okay. Um, so it could be a while. They, it sounds like they will let you know as soon as they know. Sam and I are going to sit down and do some of our, some of his schoolwork that we do together. You know, more of like a teacher-led um, work. I get a lot of questions from people wondering about like how how we homeschool through the year or when we're going to be uh, ending for the year and basically the short answer is this. I like to always make sure that we are done 
the Friday before Memorial Day weekend. Um, that doesn't always happen like that though because with cranberry harvest in the fall, we do take time off for that. And so that does um, add, you know, a couple weeks of um, pretty low school time. Although they're learning a lot when they do that, it does take away from like their math and their other lessons and things. So anyway, um, yeah, that's kind of, Sam is gearing up to finish, I think, are you? What? You're gearing up to finish by the end of May, except what's the, what do you have that is gonna take longer? Uh, for science, I will be going into like the first week of June. Right. But that won't be too bad. That, that won't be too bad. I really want him to finish oh. every single lesson in his science curriculum, and so it is gonna take him a little bit longer. Actually, uh, yeah? actually tomorrow I'm finishing math for the year. What? Yeah. Really? Yeah, tomorrow I will be doing my last two math lessons for 2018. Well, 2019. Yeah, awesome. So. Okay, well there you guys heard it. Tomorrow is the last of math. So that means you might actually be able to double up yeah, I might be able science. To, yeah, and then I might be able to get, maybe not have to do science so long, or maybe right. I'll get it done by Memorial Day. Yeah, I yeah, that'd know. be awesome. So, and then for the little kids, what pretty much how it goes is this. As the weather gets nicer, and they start playing outside more and more and more, and it gets to be a little bit harder to... Uh, shag them inside to do seat work. I just kind of do little bits of seat work here and there. Like this morning I did some with Maria and then this afternoon here after I'm done with this I'll probably uh, get Joseph for a little bit to do some math and then um, yeah and then at some point when the weather is just so nice that we can't seem to do school anymore I pretty much say okay I guess that's going to be physical education and nature study until fall. So that's kind of how it goes. We don't really have a set end date. We just sort of let things naturally progress to being done. So, all right, we've got work to do. All righty, I'm here. Peter's been begging me the whole time I was doing school with Sam to come here and look. It's my ice shack. You made an ice shack. It's kind of crowded just And tonight That's in my okay. room, I'm going to sleep in this and Maria's going to sleep in her tent. Yeah, I'm so excited because <laughs> I never, because I never, Left my brother's room for one more time. It used to be your room. You've slept in it lots of times. Hey, yeah. You can see it's not it's not very it's it not, doesn't have much space. Not a but ton of space, but there's hole. enough. Oh, you have a fishing hole in there too. I have lots of windows. Uh-huh. So you can look out at your tip ups. Mm -hmm. There's a window there, there's a window there, there's a window. Hello! Mom, there's a window. Oh, very cool. Okay, so we're moving on to a different part of my day here. I'm just setting the oven for 350 degrees because you guys asked for it and you're going to get it. Here is going to be the recipe for the pretzel salad. I know a lot of you have asked for the snicker salad and I will get to that one, but I thought since I'm making this today, I'm just going to show you the recipe. Now, the original recipe that I use came from food.com. I have changed it up, so when I share the recipe how I do it, I'm going to just, you know, this is just what I use for a guide. So if you want, you can go to food.com and type in pineapple pretzel salad recipe, and you will find the original. Now, like I said, I've changed it up. So what I'm going to do here first is I need to melt this butter. This is a one stick of butter, so a half a cup. And then I'm going to mix in about a third of a cup of sugar. I've decreased the sugar from the original recipe, so about a third of a cup of sugar. But let's get this melting. So while the butter is melting, I'm just gonna go through and bust up my, my pretzels. And we like a lot of pretzels in this salad. I just think it tastes really good. It adds a really good crunch. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. And there's no more. Wow, you're really doing a lot here this afternoon, aren't you? Yep. 
So I'm just going to point out to you guys that I picked up this foil from Dollar Tree and you pretty much get what you pay for. It does work fine for lining a pan like this, but if you're trying to maybe line your grill or you're trying to wrap something in foil that you actually want it to hold up, this is not the foil for you. I'm sure I won't buy this again unless I'm at Dollar Tree and I need foil and I don't want to go to another store. But like I said, it'll work fine for just lining a pan, but it's that's about all it's good for okay so the butter is melted this is almost four cups here of crushed um, pretzels the butter is melted I'm just gonna put in a third cup of sugar and then all of the pretzels I'm gonna stir that all together I did just quick put a layer of spray on my foil and then we're gonna dump all of this on there and bake it for about, I think, 10 minutes. Let me just check. Yes, for 10 minutes. Yes, six and six is 12. I am making pretzel salad, yes. So that's what it looks like. I'm gonna pop this in the oven for 10 minutes. And you wanna do this early enough in the day so that it has time to cool if you're gonna be eating it, you know, that day. So I normally drain this over a bowl so I can catch all that pineapple juice and somebody in the house will drink it but I don't know I just got ahead of myself today and forgot but I will get a little bit so somebody will drink that up but yeah definitely don't waste the juice because you know you paid for it and here's what it looks like when you first take the pretzel mixture out let me flip that light on when you first take the pretzel mixture out of the oven some of the butter and sugar is kind of bubbled up you might see some little crispy areas on the edge uh, especially look over there lots of crispy areas so then you just want to let this cool um, until you can handle it and then it'll be ready to break up into little chunks all right so here is what's going on with the pretzel salad next I have a brick of cream cheese and I was just um, you know mixing that up really well so it gets really soft and creamy because when you try to mix in whipped cream into the cream cheese it will get a little bit chunky if it's if the cream cheese is not fully soft and kind of fully blended already so i'll probably blend that or not probably i will i'm going to be blah, 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 blah. i'm going to blend that another minute or so but i won't be able i'm not going to film that because i'm going to have this whipping at top speed so in my kitchen aid here I just put uh, one full pint, yes, one full pint of heavy whipping cream in here, and I'm just going to whip this until it is a nice, uh, thick consistency. Not so long that it turns into butter. I've done that before, and that was horrible. But um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do now. Okay, so this is what it looks like when you whip the whipping cream when it's just right you touch it and basically it doesn't move so now I'm just gonna mix all of that into the cream cheese all right so Nick him and his girlfriend just stopped over stopped over for supper tonight and he brought me this beautiful geranium isn't that pretty it's called a geranium it's called a geranium. So he's just going to hang it outside. Let's... My battery is going to die, so unless he runs, <laughs> we're going to miss out on it. But what's going to happen is he's going to take that bird feeder down there and he's going to put that flower right there for me for the summer. And that's very, very sweet of him. It's really a fun dynamic now that I have kids that are adults and they're like coming over. Nick came over for supper tonight and he brought watermelon for us, you know, as like a dish to pass. So I was like, wow, it's pretty awesome to see our kids grow up. <laughs> He's giving me the thumbs up. All right, so the pretzel salad is finally, oh my gosh, you're losing the pretzels. That's the best part. <laughs> So the pretzel salad is finally wrapping up here. Amber is just going to pour in all that yummy pretzel sugary goodness. And that's it. So what I have in here again is the cream cheese and the whipped cream. 
and then I put in the crushed pineapple and I put in a whole pound of strawberries and then all of that. So I will have the full recipe for this. Maria Jean, sh 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 for just like 30 seconds. I'll put the full recipe for this in the description box below. I stir it. And we are gonna just keep moving on with our night here. That one should be broken up a little. Oh, I didn't see that one, yeah. Yep, so just make sure all the pieces are nice and broken up so that you don't get too big of a chunk in a bite. This is a mm. terrible spoon. Well. Or spatula. Yeah. It was for scraping the whipped cream out before. That's so solid. <laughs> All right, well, the day is uh, rounding up nicely here. Warren's grilling brats, which is great because it <laughs> takes the work away from me. <laughs> I like to grill. Uh-huh. Got any other good People. words for today? People. Weather's sunny and warm. <laughs> Feels good. It's awesome. It's been a long time coming. Mm-hmm. Is it going to freeze tonight? Probably. It's been watching frost four nights in a row. So, running on very little sleep. <laughs> and yet you're still okay with me putting the camera in your face. For a while. <laughs> For a while. <laughs> but when the brats are done, turn Camera's that off. camera off, right? Yep. <laughs> Joe's just doing his favorite thing. Right? Yep. Doing a little coloring. How fun. I like it. Yes. Yeah. I hear them in the in the kitchen. They're talking really loud, aren't they? No, I don't Oh, you're nice and quiet. Uh oh. So as the evening wraps up here, we're just gonna go and do a little fishing. I hear Sam on the dirt bike here, so soon enough you're gonna see him zipping by. And there he goes. He is such a show off all the time, so yeah, so we're just gonna do a little fishing. Got everybody together. That's what's been a real joy today. I think it's all water temp. Because I don't think they all fill it out. You girls were whispering. Mm -hmm. I had a brilliant birthday idea. Mm -hmm. People were whispering things for somebody. And I don't know why my. This is um not focusing for some reason, which is really weird. There we go. Just well, barreling down the road. To get him to come down here for the last 20 minutes. No. You catching anything, Maria? No. I love your new pole. <coughs> How about you, Peter? You catching anything no. down there? I have Nothing? Yeah. Also. Looks and good. Never eat it after I have dad's a pink bobber too. I love your pink bobber. And I have I a pink hook. Uh -huh. I have a pink fishing pole. I have a pink bobber. I have a pink hook. I have a pink tackle box. Wow, that's a lot of pink. Yeah. Can you move out the way so I can cast? Oh yes, I'll move back. Whoa. Okay, go for it. Hey. 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 Sam. Good job. There's Sam. There's Sam. Nice catch. 
Dad. Thanks. Oh, I just had a strike. I, I kid you not, I just had a strike. I'm not kidding. Joseph. This Rapala. I, I'm I'm seriously not kidding. <laughs> well, Nick gave me that look like, yeah, right. Well, I didn't even know I gave you that look. Joseph. What's that? Do you remember when a pink hook and a white pussy tail was what? Mom! You would just catch them like... Mom! Crazy. Mom! Hey, Peter! Do you have a white pussy tail in that tackle box of yours? Turn yeah. out. No, I won't do that with the other. Ah! Alrighty, so that's a wrap on today. Thanks, you guys, for being with us all the time and just uh, having fun with us. And I hope that you guys are finding ways to make fun with your family as well. I didn't say make fun of your family. I said finding ways to make fun with your families.